It's United States National Monument that's 7,000 feet deeper than Mount Everest is tall. We know less about it than any other place on the planet, and researchers have gone as far to say that we know more about the surface of Mars than we do about what lives at the very bottom. It's the Mariana Trench and is a huge crescent-shaped expanse of sea that holds the title as the deepest section in the Earth's seabed. The trench is located near Japan in the Pacific Ocean and was discovered in 1875 by the British Royal Navy's HMS Challenger. It stretches on average 2,550 kilometers long and 69 kilometers wide, and its deepest point, labeled Challenger Deep after the HMS Challenger that first recorded its depth, is located at the southern side of the trench. This area has a maximum known depth of 10.9 kilometers deep. If you dropped a stone into the water, it would take over an hour to hit the bottom. So how did the Mariana Trench form? Well, among the many mysteries down there, how it was formed is also uncertain. Although it's thought it was formed over millions of years by the geological process of subduction, this occurs when a plate topped by oceanic crust is subducted underneath another plate, sinking it into the Earth's mantle and forming an underground labyrinth. Subduction is also the reason for the 42 submarine volcanoes in the Mariana Islands. So what is so fascinating about this trench? As you may know, when delving deep into the ocean, things get very interesting. Creatures and microorganisms grow to extraordinary sizes due to deep sea gigantism, and anything alive at these extreme depths baffles scientists as to how they can adapt to such harsh conditions. But the deep sea and the Mariana Trench are two completely different things. Near the bottom of the trench, temperatures are around 1 to 4 degrees Celsius, 90% of the entire trench is pitch black, and the pressure at the bottom, while well, it's 8 tons or 16,000 pounds per square inch. That's around about the same amount of pressure a 12 gauge shotgun has inside the barrel when fired. It's hard to even comprehend the effects this would have on an exposed human being. It's because of these extreme conditions that there have only been four successful missions to the very bottom. The first was on the 23rd of January 1960, when the United States owned Bathyscaph Trieste, manned by Don Walsh and Jacques Picard, reached the bottom. But because the water was stirred up by their landing and they only spent 20 minutes at the bottom, they were unable to take photographs or have a good look for undiscovered creatures. They did however believe that they saw a flatfish swimming at the very bottom, but since they did not take pictures, it was never officially labelled as the deepest fish discovered, but still they had confirmed that life could exist down there in what was rightfully thought to be unlivable conditions. Their mission was followed by an unmanned descent in 1996 and then another in 2009, but until that 1960 manned descent, no human had been back to the bottom of the trench, and for two reasons. One being that no other vessel on the planet had been built to go that deep, and secondly because it is far too risky with the immense pressure at the bottom, especially when you find out that during that 1960 mission, at 30,000 feet, a crack appeared in the dive window. Being so close to being the first humans to reach the bottom, aborting the mission was not an option, so Jacques and Don kept going. But in 2012, all that changed. Film director James Cameron of Avatar, The Abyss, Titanic, and many other hugely successful films piloted a deep diving submersible designed to reach the deepest part of the Mariana Trench, the Challenger Deep. The craft was called Deep Sea Challenger and was equipped with scientific sampling equipment and 3D cameras, as well as over 180 other onboard systems such as life support, LED lighting, thrusters, and a sophisticated underwater communication system. It was the most advanced underwater vessel ever built, but still, his trip wasn't without its extreme risks, the biggest being the pod not being able to handle the pressure during its descent. Imagine one of the windows or components gave way, the pressure of the water from the outside flooding in would be enough to, what Cameron said, turn him into jam in two microseconds. The reward of being the first solo trip to the bottom of the Mariana Trench though far outweighed the risk, and after several successful and unsuccessful trial dives, Cameron finally reached the bottom of the Challenger Deep on March the 26th, 2012, recording a depth of 10,908 meters. So what did he discover nearly seven miles down? It seems at the very bottom, not a whole lot. Cameron described it as out of this world, desolate, foreboding, and moon-like. Unfortunately, no monster-like creatures to base his next film on, just a barren, dark, isolated, and unexplored part of the planet. But due to some problems down there, such as the loss of a few thrusters that prevented the capsule from moving forward, Cameron was only able to spend three hours at the bottom as opposed to the planned six. And also the fact there was an issue with an unmanned baiting lander, this massively reduced the chances of attracting deep ocean creatures. So although no thought to be extinct or monstrous creatures were found, Cameron did manage to find a few living things down there, such as jellyfish and shrimp-like critters. 
But there is still hope for huge undiscovered creatures to be found, and the hope is that there were sea cucumbers that were so camouflaged in the sand that Cameron had not seen them during his dive. This in itself is proof that they have adapted to use camouflage to prevent being eaten by predators. What predators these are will for now remain a mystery. Although Cameron's expedition did not find an array of deep sea creatures living at the very bottom, 68 new species were discovered on his journey. So with that and other unmanned descents, what do we know lives in the trench? Here are a few remarkable creatures that have adapted to these extreme conditions. The Telescope Octopus. This creature is almost transparent, with the only non-transparent part being their amazing rotating eyes and their digestive system. They happily lurk around the Mariana Trench with its varying depths and usually venture into deeper parts as they get older, being found at depths of up to 1.5 miles. Going deeper, you can expect to find the incredible anglerfish. This fierce looking creature has the ability to live in complete darkness and has been spotted up to a mile from the surface in the Mariana Trench, although some reports say they have been found at depths closer to 3 miles. They can grow to 3 foot but are generally around 1 foot in length and have an elongated dorsal spine that uses bioluminescence to attract its prey. Next up, one of the less ferocious looking creatures in the trench, the Dumbo Octopus. Despite its cute looks, this tough creature enjoys life up to 4 miles underwater and swallows its prey whole. Then at a depth of 8,145 meters, an unseen species of snailfish was discovered in 2014 by the University of Aberdeen and is the deepest depth a fish has ever been recorded. Since Don Walsh and Jacques Picard's 1960 trip did not have photographic proof of their sighting of a fish at the very bottom of the trench, theirs could not be classed as confirmed. These snailfish were captured on video using the university's special deep diving vehicle. The same vehicle also recorded a swarm of amphipods at a depth of 10,545 meters, 10.5 kilometers deep. They were found in the Serena Deep, the second deepest section in the Mariana Trench. So we know a few creatures live down there and we know that with each new trip, we will discover many new creatures. We also know about the pressure and statistics at the very bottom, but what does it sound like down there? Well, for the first time ever, a microphone was sent to the Challenger Deep in 2015 and kept there for three weeks. It was to find a baseline for the sound at the very bottom. With this, scientists can then find out how man-made sounds are affecting the creatures in the ocean. The recorder picked up a variety of sounds from earthquakes and boats, but more interestingly, the sound of a whale call. Take a listen. <laughs> The creature behind the sound isn't confirmed, so I would like to think it's some undiscovered humongous whale, but the scientists believe it's most likely a baleen or bride's whale moan, that sound waves travelled from miles away and echoed in the trench. Another microphone is planned to be sent down again in 2017, alongside a camera, and with James Cameron and many other companies planning more missions to the bottom, there is no doubt that many more interesting things will be found, but for now, the mystery and the fascination with the Mariana Trench continues. So that's it for this short documentary. I hope you've enjoyed and I hope it's made you realize even more how special and fascinating the planet is. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.